This new feature that Clay just came out with is one of the cooler ones that I think we've released in a long time. And before I get into even explaining it, huge shout out to Tess, who is the person who actually created this feature. She's a wizard, she's the goat, and she deserves her flowers for building this amazing thing. So the problem that this tool solves is that beforehand, when you built out an email campaign in Clay, it was really difficult to export it, upload it to your email sequencing tool, and then assign variables, then eventually send out the email. But it took a while for the emails to even look like an actual email. It just was a bunch of jump variables that didn't make any sense. However, what this new AI messaging tool does is it allows you to build out the emails within Clay and all you have to do after that is export one variable, which is a completed email. So you're able to build out the emails completely within Clay and just send it right to your email sequencing tool. It requires no setup in the other tools and it makes things a million times easier. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what it does, how it works and how you can use it to send more emails quicker. So we are in our Clay table right here and as you can see, we have a bunch of basic attributes related to a company. We have its founder, we have its website, we have its description. We've actually found emails for all of the decision makers that we're looking for already, and we have validated them, right? So we have all of the basic information needed to send out a campaign. However, what are we going to do about the actual email copy? So what we're gonna do is use a little nifty thing called draft emails. And when you click on it, you're gonna see this. On the left side is where we're gonna be typing, and on the right side is our preview. You'll see quickly how useful this is for seeing what your email actually looks like. So for our subject line, we're gonna do something kind of simple. We'll just do the founder's first name and we'll do a quick question. Generic, I know, but it should work for this example. Then we're gonna start writing the body out. And at first it's gonna look a little simple, but you'll soon see that it's a little bit cooler than it seems at first. But what we're gonna do first is just throw in their first name and a comma. And then I'm gonna say something like, I noticed that you work in the, and then you're gonna see this little block when you type out a slash. Usually when you type out a slash, you just see a bunch of the variables that you can input. And of course you can still see that. But what is this AI generated text thing? You click on this and suddenly a prompt shows up and you'll notice that this is just an AI prompt that would normally be in the column section, but you can insert it perfectly in it to this AI messaging integration. All right, so here is my prompt. You can see I've just put using the company description for the company name tell me what industry the company operates in. And then a couple of different formatting tidbits. Don't give anything other than the industry, no extra words, don't include the name industry, make it all lowercase and don't include any acronyms. Here is the description. And when we click right down here, as you can see, it will output the industry that this company is specifically working in. And we're gonna save the text right here and we are back to our template. So what I'm gonna do for this specific email is I am going to list a few different ways this company could use SEO to get themselves more clients, customers, etc. So what I'm gonna do is something along the lines of thought that you might appreciate a few industry specific ideas as to how to use SEO to get more clients. All right, so now we need some ideas and I don't want to do this manually, obviously for each one of the clients. So we're gonna use an AI prompt to make a few different SEO recommendations for the specific company. So we're gonna throw another AI generated text thing right here. And in the prompt section, I'm going to type out yet another prompt. All right, so here is our next prompt. It says you're an organic marketing specialist working with consumer companies to help grow their customer base, revenue, and ultimately profits. Using their description, create a bulleted list of the three best possible digital organic marketing ideas, and then a couple different conditionals and formatting things. And then I gave them the company description. Click right here. Boom. We now have three different ways that this company can use SEO to get more clients. Automatically generated, and it looks great in the email. So we're going to save that text again. Now I'm going to add a little bit of a conclusion section to the email and wrap it out with one more AI generated text. And then we're going to run these rows to see if it works well. All right, so we are at the next portion in which I'm going to put an AI generated text box. I put, let me know if any of these ideas seem promising to you. We'd love to talk about how we can implement them within the company. We'd love to help you become the best in the world at, and then we're going to throw another text box right here. All right, so our third and final prompt is using this description. Tell me one thing that the name likely does very well for their customers. Format your answer as an action. For example, if the company is good at building sandcastles, say at building sandcastles. Anyone who's seen this channel before and watched some of our videos knows I love using this one because it's so specific and so subtle. Now we're going to preview this and boom, now we can go through this entire email really quickly. Saw that you work in the technology industry. I thought you might appreciate a few industry specific ideas on how WorkSphere could use SEO to get more clients. And then we have these three ideas, develop a blog, offer a free webinar series, create an interactive resource center. And then let me know if these ideas seem promising. We'd love to talk about how we can implement them with WorkSpace. We'd love to help you become the best in the world at managing hybrid WorkSpace operations. And then we will just put an exclamation mark right here. And then from Patrick. Beautiful. We have this completely built 
out and we can see the entire template right here fleshed out into a real email. Now we can run some of the rows and start sending some of these emails within our Smart Leads campaign. All right, so now that we have a bunch of these emails already loaded up, all we have to do is add them to Smart Lead. How do we do that? We just click new column right here, add enrichment, and then type in Smart Lead. Because we're adding leads to our campaign, we're gonna use this one right here. And we are going to click on our test campaign, throw their email address in like so. And then all we have to do is add a couple of custom fields. So for the first one is going to be the email subject. And we just have to click right here and add our subject right here. And then we have to add our email body and then insert that right below it. Then we can run these first few rows and see what happens. All right, awesome. So as you can see, these leads were already in my campaign, but instead of adding new ones and creating duplicates, it just updates the existing ones that are currently in the campaign, which is so ideal. So we're not gonna send any emails twice, which is perfect. Alrighty, so now we're within Smart Lead and we can start creating this campaign. And it's very, very simple. Instead of having to add a bunch of different variables within our campaign, we're just gonna have to add the subject and the body. So for the subject, we're gonna click variables and we're gonna click email subject. And then for the body, we're just going to add the email body. And voila, you have completely filled out all we need for this email campaign within Smart Lead. And it's so unbelievably simple to do within Clay now. Alrighty, and that's how you do it. Please go give it a try. Go DM Tess on LinkedIn and tell her how awesome she is. And yeah, feel free to drop a like, subscribe, and let us know what we should make a video about next. Cause uh, you know, I'm kind of just spitballing. So <laughs> let me know.